guys and welcome back to my channel i hate saying that that sounds so lame thanks for tuning in i'm doing a new video today obviously and i have decided to do a little haul because i've recently picked up some new pieces new year new bitch new clothes there's some affordable things some more expensive things things from sustainable brands so i think that's something for everyone and i hope you guys are gonna enjoy i'll also show you how i would style these pieces before i get any questions this top is from weekday last time i checked this was sold out if i can find it or something similar i'll link it down below my rings these two are from soul gold this one my best friend helena gifted me for my birthday and her mom actually made it for me which is incredible these are my um hoops that i wear almost every single day these are from a jewelry best basic hoops amazing value really great price amazing quality i'll link a link down below and you can actually get i think it's 10 percent off i don't even know my own discount codes but i think you can actually get around 10 percent off your first order with majuri if you shop through my link and i think that's everything so let's get into the clothes okay the first piece i have to show you guys is this coat Maybe you've already seen this on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, you definitely should. That light in the back is really bothering me. Okay, this is from Daily Paper and it's this incredible denim coat. I saw this on the website and usually when I buy things, I take a couple of days to think about it and if I still want them, then I order them. But I saw this and I think within 20 minutes I ordered it because I was so obsessed with it and I have absolutely no regrets. Well, it's obviously not super warm and it's freezing right now in Berlin, but um, I wore this the other day with a really thick turtleneck underneath and it was okay. I was a little bit cold, but I think when it starts to get a little bit warmer and then next year in fall, this will be incredible. Okay, so just to give you guys an idea, this is how I styled this coat the last time I wore it. It also comes with a belt. You can belt like you're meant to do it or you can just tie it at the waist, which is what I did last time. Obviously, you can also just wear it open, which I think looks sick and you can detach the belt, which is great. So yeah, just with a plain white turtleneck, for example, black flares and then i'm wearing these platform black converse right now i just think it's so cute and this is one of the more expensive pieces that i got i think this was around 250 euros which i still think is great for a brand like daily paper that's definitely high quality and it's gonna last me a while i also think it's a really great brand to support if you don't know yet check it out it's definitely different but still fairly timeless you know it's nothing crazy and i can't wait to also wear this in the summer with like a mini dress because it's just denim so again not super warm and i think this could be really cute in summer or spring maybe with like a short realization-esque dress and sneakers or sandals i love this sort of washed out vintage look and this pattern as well i also got a cap from daily vintage a daily vintage daily paper so this is the cap that i got it's just blue and says daily paper i think it's cute but i'm not sure it suits my head i feel like the shape is kind of odd but i ripped the tags off as soon as i got it without trying it on which is always a smart thing to do so i can't return it maybe i'm also just not used to it because i don't wear caps so much but i mean this would be cute for this look as well and i just thought to match the jacket is kind of cool let me know what you guys think maybe it's just in my head or maybe this actually looks ridiculous i just don't want to look like egg you know i might get into this jumper right here because i feel like i want to try this on under the jacket anyways this is from weekday i got a couple of things from weekday and this is actually from the men's section i like the color i like the print okay this is the jumper just by itself i actually love the fit and i'm pretty surprised with the quality and just the way that it feels for weekday it feels really really nice i really like the fit i'm pretty sure this is a size medium but i'll put all the sizes on the screen or down below as well so you guys know i kind of have this folded a little bit right now so this is what it looks like regularly i guess and then if you tuck this little bit under i think it looks really good but i love this i think this looks so cute always check the men's section especially for things like jumpers i mean this is obviously unisex it doesn't matter all clothes should be unisex by the way you can wear whatever the fuck you want but wow this is a vibe i love this okay i want to try the coat over it as long as you guys can tell me that this doesn't make my head look super weird this is a fucking look i feel like bella hadid right now not 
I don't know if she would wear this. I'm not trying to hype myself up too much, but this is, looks just very matchy, put together. I'm fucking in love. Wow. This looks great. I guess I can show you guys this one. This is very similar to the jumper I'm wearing right now. Yes, it's also from weekday. I have no idea what this is meant to say, but I feel like that's the point, that it's just letters that you can't really decipher. Unless I've become a complete idiot and you guys can tell me what it says. I just love this color. It's my favorite color, dark green. I like the print. I like the print on the sleeves. On the back, it's just plain, same as this one. Okay, again, this just looks so fucking cute. I'm here for it. I also like the fit. It's very similar to the other one, except the neckline is exceptionally small, tight. My head barely fits through this. I have a pretty big head, granted, but if yours is any bigger than mine, you might not actually be able to get in this. Again, I just think this looks so dope not that i use that word a lot but this just has such a street style vibe to it i also just don't think that these jumpers look like weekday i think this could be some cool like undercover streetwear brand i'm still wearing the same pants and shoes i think that goes pretty well and i have this green coat oh yes oh my god i'm very much here for it maybe a different pant actually but i'm too lazy to put another one on right now regardless of that issue I think this looks so nice together, the different tones. But again, you could wear this with a black jacket. This would also look nice with the denim jacket. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you guys these amazing pants. They just came in the mail today and they're from Paloma Wool. I'm so obsessed with these. I've already tried them on this morning. I could resist. Let me just put them on for you guys. Oh my God, I feel so good in them. Wow. Okay, I have to give you guys a full shot somehow. Okay, this is what they look like. I am obsessed. I don't think you understand. Oh my God. These are a little bit more expensive, but I think they're so worth it. The quality is amazing. And I know I'm gonna wear these so much. I think they're a little bit tight. These are a medium, but I think a large would be too big. And especially because they're knitted and it also said on the website that they stretch. A little bit over time i thought i'd go with the medium and i've decided to keep the medium because i think it's fine i'm sorry but they look fucking amazing and i love that they like accentuate your curves with the pattern and it's just something different they're gonna be so cute in the summer also at the beach just with a black bikini top okay kind of random because i'm a little bit naked now i'm just wearing my bra and the blazer but that's how I tried them on this morning, just randomly, because I couldn't find a top to match. I don't think I would just wear the bra, but I want to get a top similar, like just a very cropped top. And then with a blazer, I think it looks so dope. But actually I could wear the bra, I don't think it's that like risque. And I've been wanting to get something from Paloma Wool for like the past year. And I never ordered something because it's a little bit more pricey and I wasn't sure. I think it's definitely worth it. The quality is amazing. They're a sustainable brand. I think they're based in Barcelona and I love the vintage vibe. I love the kind of 70s homage. I think it's incredible. What should I show you guys next? Oh, I'll show you guys these pants. These are from Roof. I think it's pronounced Roof. It's this shop that I kept seeing on Instagram. I finally decided to get these pants and now I'm still a teeny bit undecided about these because I think they're really hard to style because of the color. I don't know how it comes across on camera, but these are made from blue and red fabric. So it ends up looking purple, at least to me. On the website, they definitely looked more navy. Ugh, I don't know, as I'm wearing them, I think I'm gonna have to send them back. Okay, I'm wearing them with new shoes also that I'll get into in a second. And I just really liked this detailing. This whole side of the pant is all buttons and you can unbutton or unbutton them as much as you want. And that creates these little cutouts, which I thought was really smart. I think it's really cool. I don't think it's the most flattering on me. I feel like it makes my legs look shorter than they are. I think from the side or like this, they look really good, but I don't like the way they look from the front. They fit nicely around the thigh but they're too loose around my ankles, which is why I also think they're unflattering. I love the fabric and I think this concept is really cool. Let me know what you think, but I think I'm actually gonna send these back. They have these black mini skirts with similar detailing on the side. Those were sold out when I ordered these pants and they just came back in stock today. So maybe I'll get one of those skirts. Maybe I'll prefer that one. I have another purple top. This is from weekday as well. 
and it's this kind of sheer jumper i think this is so cute i'm wearing the same black bra underneath this is from fenty i don't think i have to do a big styling bit for this one because you can just wear it as you want it i'm just wearing the same black pants from the beginning of the video these are from zara i've had them forever love the color again i don't think i have anything else like this in my closet i'm loving this mesh sheer trend because i just think it's a new way to be sexy and feminine or not necessarily a new way but it's just been brought back and i really like it i think it's cute especially for the winter i would wear this to like a nice little dinner party or on a date if it weren't for covid but we're trying to be positive in this video and manifest wearing cute outfits in cute situations this would be cute with jeans as well very easy to style and i also like the sort of high neckline okay before i forget also my head looks disgusting at this point i hate my head today but there's more important things going on in the world but i wanted to show you guys the shoes that i wore with the last pant that i'm probably going to return because i just got these as well these are the air force one shadow there's just some extra design elements and they have a bit more of a 3d appearance to them i would say and i also think they're a bit chunkier than the regular air force one i mean i'm obsessed with air force ones as are most people right now and they're really hard to actually get your hands on the normal ones i hope these are still available i'll try to find them and link them down below but yeah i love them they're so easy to style they look amazing with everything and especially when they're brand new i actually haven't worn these out because they just look so good when they're like the perfect crisp white and the shape is still really nice they have so much structure to them and i think i actually prefer these to the normal ones because of the 3d vibe this next top i'm very excited about and i hope by the time that i'm uploading this it's still going to be available this is from weekday as well okay wow i feel like a queen in this top this makes me so happy i think this is probably not everyone's vibe and i personally used to not like asymmetry in fashion at all but this oh my god makes my heart just so happy i've been obsessed with otto linger as have a lot of people i think this is just a great alternative that's a lot more affordable i'm hoping to be celebrating this year's christmas in an original Otto Linger dress that's like kind of my goal for this year <laughs> their pieces are so incredible but very expensive and this just totally reminds me of their aesthetic and i think it looks great this was 20 euros so again it's just a great affordable alternative i really hope this is still available because i think this is one of those pieces that's gonna sell out so fast i love the fact that the sleeves are longer i'm wearing my watch underneath so that looks kind of weird but i love the long sleeves oh my god i can't stop looking at this neckline it's fucking beautiful this is what it looks like from the back once the bars are open again i think this is the first top that i'm wearing i think this is incredible and then with a really high sleek ponytail not like today today is pretty half-assed super sleek ponytail amazing cat eye makeup and then this bodysuit oh my god i can't wait to go out again i'll show you guys this top this was sent to me from a brand that i don't really know how to pronounce so i'm just gonna put it on the screen before i embarrass myself and this is actually two separate pieces so a little tank top and this turtleneck sleeve i've already styled this on my instagram as well but i wanted to show it anyways okay so this is the little tank top by itself already very cute i'm pretty sure this would look amazing if you actually have cleavage as well but I still like it. I love this crossover effect and especially if you're wearing jewelry that sits underneath and in this area I think it looks really really cool. But let me put on the turtleneck sleeve. Pretty fucking cute if you ask me. I think this is just very unique. I mean these kind of tops and also the turtleneck sleeve is just very trendy right now and I mean I think it looks great. I also love the color. It feels a little bit awkward at first to just be wearing a sleeve over a top but you get used to it pretty quickly and also this material is super soft and just very comfortable so it doesn't feel too strange again i kind of wish for this top that i had a little bit more cleavage because i think it would look really pretty with the cutout and also the kind of sewn in cups i just feel like i'm not really filling it out in the best way possible but it's still cute it was still cute i got this hoodie from leak day as well this is just a plain dark green hoodie i have the same hoodie in black love 
love, love this color. So pretty. Besides that, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just an oversized men's hoodie. Also from weekday, I don't know if I mentioned that. And I really like their hoodies. I think they're great value for the money. Okay, I've just put on this leather jacket. Obviously, you can style a hoodie in a million different ways but I really like this look and I wore this the other day and I kind of feel like just a badass biker gang chick and I'm not mad about it. So this leather jacket I actually wanted to show you guys as well. I've had this for a couple of months now, but I keep getting lots of messages about it on Instagram and it's from Revolve. If it's still available, I'll link it down below, but it's just a really basic black cropped leather jacket and it's become such a staple for me so i thought i'd show it as well but yeah i'm happy with this hoodie i think it looks nice obviously i wear these around the house a lot as well because they're so comfy but they also look really cute styled with a nice outfit also i'm obsessed still with hoodies underneath blazers such a cute look always especially for traveling not that i've traveled in a long time but one day one day soon okay the last piece i'm going to show you guys is this baby right here also, I love how this is just getting more and more empty because I'm too lazy to hang everything back up straight away. I thought I'd show you guys this jacket. If you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen this. I got this for Christmas and it is from AA Spectrum. I didn't know the brand before, they're from Beijing. And I got this at uh, Super Conscious in Berlin, which is this little high street fashion store, I would say, near Rosenthaler Platz, I would recommend. I've also shopped lots of gifts there, like for my brother, and they always have nice sneakers and just cool different brands that you haven't really heard of before or that I haven't heard of before. I wasn't sure about this color at first because it's very different for me. Now I'm really, really in love with it. It's super oversized. Let me actually put it on. Yeah, it's literally massive, but this is, Probably it's pretty obvious this is the warmest jacket that I own and it's probably the only jacket that actually keeps me warm during Berlin winter. This jacket is pretty expensive um, but it's definitely worth it if you're looking for a big puffer that's going to last you ages. I've gotten so many compliments on this jacket. I feel like the color isn't really coming across. It's very vibrant. It's got some really cool details like the straps down here have this colorful design on there. And then also the back, AA Spectrum 2020 Autumn Winter. I love the pink with the green. I think it looks so cool. I can literally zip it up all the way up here. And I feel like I could just go to sleep anywhere because it's so puffy that I could just lie on here like a pillow and just fall asleep on the street. I was thinking of getting a black North Face puffer like everyone else in the world right now. And then I saw this one and I thought, no, I'm gonna go for something different, something that no one else really has. I haven't seen this jacket on anyone else ever. And I'm really happy about that as well. Not that there's anything wrong with getting an North Face puffer. I think they look great, but I'm kind of happy to have this like unique jacket. And also I kind of look like a highlighter walking through Berlin in this. Not mad about it. You get attention straight away. Not a bad thing. I have one more piece from weekday, very basic but I wanted to get a black beanie because I don't have one. And I got this one and I'm actually super surprised. This beanie is so soft and the fit is really nice. I mean, if I put it on right now with my hand like this, that's not a vibe. It's the end of the video, I can do what I want. I can take my hair out. I'm gonna rob a bank. I think it's the most comfortable beanie I've ever had. I love this material, it feels amazing. Very, very surprised at how much I love this. Okay, I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Everything will be linked down below. I'm also gonna link just some other pieces that I've recently had my eye on that I like, especially if some of this stuff is already sold out. I'll link you guys some more inspo for pieces if you wanna get new clothes. Let me know if you shop anything. Uh, send me a pic or tag me, it's always really cool to see you guys in clothes that I've mentioned it's really yeah it's just a really cool feeling so make sure to let me know if you do that and I'll see you guys in my next video bye